what's up, y'all? This is Andrew from American Musical Supply here at Winter Nam 2020. I'm here right. with Mr. Travis Toy. How you doing? I'm good, man. How are you? Just very just braving the nab madness as usual. <laughs> right, right. We have some sanctuary here. That's in this, right. Uh, yeah, Quilter is brings this nice Airstream trailer. It's air conditioned in here, and like I can only marginally hear like the roar of drums and brass sections. And there is a guy with a bass that fires up occasionally, though. So if he starts going, if he starts going, we might have trouble. But other than that, no, it's awesome. Yeah, it's a great show, man. It's really great. Cool. Well, uh, just as you mentioned, we're at the Quilter booth, and we wanted to talk to you a little bit about your relationship with Quilter. Sure. I understand that there's a, a signature series uh, speaker cab that's came out, come out, and you, maybe you can tell us a little bit about that and yeah. also about your general setup uh, in, in terms of what you use with Quilter. Sure, sure. Here, here I'll just take it. Yeah. So so my history with Quilter is they had a uh, they had an existing steel guitar platform called the Steel Air, and they had a combo, and they also had a rack mount um, just head version of that right so i've been using those i tour with rascal flats i've been with those guys for 16 years since the, the roaring 20s since the 1920s i've been rascal for the 100 year roaring 20s again uh anyway so i was using um their heads uh aside from the combo and somewhere along the way i i have a uh, a couple of signature speakers with eminence speaker company and they're still specific there's, there's a 12 inch and a 15 inch that i designed for me and uh, and the steel community to just have you know a steel specific speaker that really been voiced well so i was using my speakers with quilter heads on the road for several years and that sort of just you know and i was friends with the guys at quilter because i used their product and somewhere along the way they went maybe we should actually make a, you know, like collaborate and make a product that, you know, that I could have some input on, you know, a little bit and also use my speaker because I was already using that anyway, right? And and also the goal being to, you know, I mean, everybody wants things lighter if possible, you know, I don't know why you'd want something heavy if you didn't have to, you know, and I think too, um, the technology, I think for a long time, it was true that that you know people are like oh if it's things that weigh don't weigh very much don't sound you know and man, that was probably true for a long time but i right. think you know i think in the past you know four five six years we finally kind of hit that threshold and surpassed it now where everything's gotten so good new you know pat quilter's a brilliant amp design guy and we finally hit that point where light things sound as good as heavy things always sounded right and 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 arguably better right so so that's that's a little bit what this is you know there's um so I'll, I'll, I'll spin I'll spin it around, spin the table around. So <laughs> you know, so you can see this is this is on there. They have an existing platform called Block Dock, and the whole the whole thing is you know you have all these amps, and they have various models. There's bass ones and guitar ones, and this is a Tone Block 202, which is a guitar amp. Uh, uh, it came out not that long ago. It came yeah, out, I think of yeah, 2019, August or so of 2019. So. Um, this just happens to be tremendous for steel guitar just by sheer you know i mean it's it's incredible for pedal steel guitar so um in this combo so this is the signature combo we did and what makes it signature i guess essentially is uh it has my features you can't see it but hidden in there is a uh, speaker called the double t12 which is my signature speaker with eminence um voiced specifically sort of for what I consider to be a modern pedal steel guitar sound, because um, I do I do a lot of session work too in Nashville aside from touring with Flat, so I'm recording a lot almost every day. So um, you know, one of the coolest thing about this is you take this off and the little head comes out. So if you're in the studio and you need instead of getting up and going to the you know the isolation boom and or room and trying to tweak your amp, you can just take the little head off right and set it next to you. And uh, and that's the beauty not only for this amp but that whole the whole block dock quilter series is has this thing where you can take the head off and, and do that so that can go away and you keep that with you and you're able to tweak you know and um you know so other other than that specifically on that it you know it was it was about putting this speaker in it and then we did some cool some cool features that i know people like you know it has these like kickback i'll kick this leg in you kickback legs um you know because i was just telling andrew that it's funny you go see people playing me included if you're on a little stage and you know, everybody til is tilting their amps back to hear them. So, you know, Fender did that forever. I don't know why people stop putting kickback legs on amps, but, um, you know, people are tilting their amps on coffee cups and, you know, direct boxes and, all, and whatever they can find. So I thought, well, let's just put legs on there. So we did some cool legs that have, you know, my name and logo stuff and then keep spinning around. It's got some cool, uh, we did a little special edition badging on the front. And, uh, but yeah, the, the neatest thing about this amp is just that it's, it's a 200 watt 
great sounding steel amp that weighs, I think, 26 pounds or something like that, as opposed to so many steel guitar combos historically are not light. Right. Yeah, I mean, you're, you know, you're getting in a 50 pound category, you know, territory a lot. And, and, and to be honest, you know, the, 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 to be completely honest, the steel guitar, there are young players in the steel guitar demographic, but in general, I mean, it's an aging, you know, I think you have to understand who you're selling to a little bit and like make things that people aren't going to, you know, hurt themselves lifting me included. I mean, I'm getting older too. I don't want anything that's heavy. If I don't have, you know, if I can make something that sounds great and it only weighs 26 pounds and I'm it in, is, yeah. It is I'm amazing. Uh, it is amazing how much sound these can push. I've, yeah, I've heard heard them, yeah. you know, and it, yeah, for, especially for something so light. You would think, like, when you yeah. pick it up, you how does this speaker handle 200 watts? But uh, yeah. well, it's uh, <laughs> the speaker's actually rated for 300. Wow. So so you can't. Yeah, I mean, you can. You know, one of the one of the coolest things about this cabinet, and honestly, I you know, there's there is definitely some mojo happening with my speaker in this cabinet i actually have i have other speakers besides the one i use but i tried when i first got one of these cabinets like so the funny thing about this cabinet is um i'm convinced there's some like magic happening here that pat probably intended to do he's so dang i'm smart but um so where this sits you know there's a piece of wood there has to be something for that to sit on so there's a piece of wood right here that's essentially you know it's covering probably the it's what's well, butted up it's about that far from the back of the speaker and it's probably covering the top 40 percent of the speaker but something about this is redirecting some energy it's almost turns it into it almost turns it into a port almost more than it is an open back classically you know and uh the low end in this cabinet is unbelievable everybody that that has gotten one sends me messages are like i can't believe like the yes. you know and it's cool because it's a low end that you can really get a ton out of it, but it stays defined. It doesn't kind of bloom out and get, you know, get kind of sloppy, you know, low end in cabinets. It's like you, there's always that point where you, you start hitting and it's it kind of like gets not great sounding anymore, you know, and kind of gets undefined. So this, this cabinet and that speaker have some magical like mojo that was, I think, sheer accident, but a, a really good accident. So anyway, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, man. Well, thank you. Um, just real quick, like, so I know that the the Roscoe Flats farewell tour is coming yeah. up, yeah. and what's going to be what's next for you? You mentioned you're doing session work. I'm sure yeah. you're going to continue that. But any other projects? Um, well, I have to pitch myself for a second. I have a album that just came out. It's uh, I've been wanting to do an instrumental pedal steel album for my whole life, and uh, finally got around to it in 2019. So that actually just came out. It's called Entry Point, Travis Toy Entry Point. You can find it on iTunes or Amazon or my website, travistoy.com. Shameless plug. Um, but aside from Flats, yeah, I've been on Rascal Flats since they started headlining, which was 04, 2004. So it's been 16. This is my 16th year. It's their 20th year. So, you know, this year is certainly, um, even though it's a farewell tour, it's a celebration of 20 years of Time. I've done a lot of stuff on that gig in, in 16 years. It's really taken me a lot of places that I would have never dreamed, you know, that I would have gone. And uh, But move, moving forward, yeah, I do a lot of session work in Nashville and play on records for, for all kinds of people aside from Rascal Flat. So, yeah, just probably will do that, you know, and I don't know. I'm always open to, you know, the hustle for a for a working musician <laughs> never ends for any of us. No matter what, you see guys that you think, God, these guys, you know, they must be doing, you know. It's a, we're all doing the same thing. We're all trying to make a living playing music, and like that hustle literally never ends, no matter what level you you seem to have attained by people from the outside looking at you. So, um, yeah, I'll be you know I'll be hustling and and still trying to make a living playing music and paying for shoes for my kids and all that stuff. But yeah, m probably mostly session work. Even though I'm never, you know, if the right road gig comes along, I'm getting lazy in my old age. So you know I can't. I can't go out and do 100 or 200 dates anymore, but um, yeah, there's you know there's always opportunity for, like I said, anybody that's you you kind of make your own opportunities a lot of the time. So and what you're willing to, how much work you're willing to do. So uh, but yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. Real yeah, cool. yeah, man. Very cool. Well, thank yeah, you so much sure. for this uh, yeah. time that you're able to spend with us. Appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for talking about the amp. It's uh, all you pedal steel players out there. Get you one of these. Very very good. This is what it is. So, um, and if you're interested in any quilter products, including the uh, Travis Toy signature cabinet and head condo.
<laughs> you can head on over to AmericanMusical.com. Thanks, That's Travis. Right. Yeah, thank you, man. Appreciate yeah. it. Thanks, everybody.